Nigeria's Minister of Health had in July this year announced the Rapid Result Initiative of the federal government. It seeks to give free medical services to poor citizens across the country who cannot afford to pay the bills to treat their ailments. The first phase of this project is free surgery, targeting 10,000 indigents across the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory. Here in Abuja, the National Hospital is a center executing this initiative. The facility's chief medical director says the program is recording success. More than 30 patients have been done so far, many, many of them uh, minor surgeries, but some major surgeries. And as I said, this is part of the change agenda uh, to bring uh, health care to the masses in terms of uh, uh, universal health coverage. Next, the chief medical director led the media crew and officials from the Ministry of Health to the theater. <laughs> the cameras are not allowed to take close shots of the medical procedure. And officials of the health ministry also say they are not authorized to speak. However, one of the lead soldiers told journalists about the scope of their operations. My team is performing surgeries on women, ranging from removal of the womb due to diseases, as well as fibroid surgeries, as well as screening for cervical cancer. Meanwhile, the surgeons have attributed some of the medical conditions they worked on to factors, including the adoption of Western lifestyle. There are multifactorial causes of, uh, you know, the cancer aspect of this. <coughs> so we cannot just link to one particular thing. But in our environment, we've seen some increases uh, in incidents, maybe because of the change of lifestyle, uh, lifestyle Western uh, lifestyle that uh, people are adopting with. But we are, the studies are coming out very soon. The health initiative, tagged Better Health for All, has seven major areas, one of which is the treatment of 200,000 severely malnourished children under five years in the northeast region of the country. Officials say the services can be accessed in federal medical centers and government teaching hospitals across the country.